All right, uh, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking about real tragedy in the music world and doing it in real time for a few real people out there. And uh, just like you and me, and again, we've got one of those unexplainable occurrences and several people, including a famous musician, actually sent me this link last night. So uh, I don't know, Let's let's take a look at uh, what happened, because it, it's posted all over social media. I'm going to do a screen share, which I typically don't do. This is a very popular gospel singer in Brazil. And if you missed that, um, we'll let it run some more. Uh, he was singing and then just collapsed. Um, he's 30 years old. He was 30 years old. This man is now dead. All right, now... Again, I get these typically two, three times a week. Uh, not usually on video, but um, is this is this okay? Is this normal? Are, are people okay with this? Or we're just gonna say, yeah, we're, we're okay. There he goes again. So, um, pray for this guy's family. All right. So um, here's the story in a little bit more detail. Um, popular gospel singer dead at 30 after collapsing on stage. His name is Pedro Enrique. Reportedly died of a heart attack, leaving a wife and a newborn daughter. I believe the daughter was a month old. More details here. During a religious concert in the Brazilian city of uh, Fiera de Santana on Wednesday, I'm probably butchering this, uh, Henrique was performing this song, Ve Sir Tayo Lindo, which is translated to It's Going to Be So Beautiful. When he suddenly collapsed, falling backwards on stage, according to videos circulating on social media. Okay, well, we just watched the video, so it's self evident um, as if the videos have an opinion. According to videos, how about we just watched what happened? The Daily Mail reports that the musician uh, joked about being tired uh, before his performance. Okay, well, plenty of people are tired. Uh, again, he's 30 years old, appeared to be in good health. Um, but he told a friend that he was tired. Um, anyway, one day later, uh, his management, Toda Music, confirmed to Brazilian radio outlet Radio 93 that uh, Enrique had been rushed to the hospital after his collapse. They later confirmed his death in an Instagram post. There are very difficult situations in life for which we have no explanation, really. None whatsoever. We have no explanation. Now, I'm not sure what the protocol was uh, in Brazil, but I imagine it was very similar to uh, what we had here in the United States, and I, I, but I don't know. My guess is it was probably uh, fairly robust uh, what they were forcing people to do. Uh, somebody pointed out to me, you know, he may not have done this uh, because he wanted to. He may have uh, been told, hey, if you want to perform live, <laughs> you better roll up your sleeve, buddy. And look, there is a possibility that that isn't what happened, right? But is anybody going to ask questions? This is what I've been saying for two years. People wonder why I get mad. Because when there's an injustice and nobody cares about the injustice, nobody cares. What, what is your recourse at that point? Do you go to the Supreme Court? Do you, do you go to the local police department and say... I think um, something nefarious happened here. I think this gentleman may have been poisoned. Is that out of the question to say that? And I think you ought to launch an investigation to find out if this gentleman had been poisoned. I, look, I get it. Some people, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I've done this five times. I'm great. I'm going to do it again. They put out another one. I'm running out to get that one too. Oh, okay. 
All right. Well, that's totally on you. And I think, you know, um, based on this video footage, you may want to just slow down a little bit, take inventory, you know, and say to yourself, maybe this isn't a good idea. Or if there's a little bit of doubt, you know how they do this in a courtroom where they say there's reasonable doubt? There is plenty of reasonable doubt. The problem is, you know, you do a video. I did a video yesterday about the band Skid Row. And I get fact-checked, which hadn't happened on uh, one of my videos in quite some time. And the view count on all of my videos yesterday dropped by like a third compared to what I had been doing up until that point. Coincidence? Well, it wasn't very good content, Dave. Nobody cares about Don Dawkins. We want to hear the real salacious stuff. What? That Don Dawkins, for instance, um, thinks his former band couldn't write songs and were doing all kinds of drugs back in the day? I thought that was a pretty interesting topic. Nope. Wasn't that interesting, apparently. You know, you can only hit home runs, you know, every so often. But, you know, a, a double or triple or a... a ground rule double, whatever, meaning that some of these videos, I expect they're not going to be super well watched. But I thought the content yesterday was pretty good. But apparently the algorithm did not. So it'll be interesting to see what the algorithm does with this video because I clipped the actual event. So we'll see. Um, let's talk a little bit more about Pedro. Pedro was a happy young man, a friend to everyone, an only child, a present husband, and a super dedicated father. There is no pastor or Christian in Brazil who says anything other than this. Pedro is simple. He is a believer. What a smile. How nice. What a voice. Um, these are the kind of people that are great to be around. The songs in your voice will not die, and your legacy will remain through your wife, your little daughter Zoe, who now doesn't have a dad, and so many lives that were and will be reached by Christ through the records of your voice. Um, this is just incredibly tragic. So Enrique began his career posting song covers to YouTube in 2016. Uh, before a producer took notice. Sounds really similar to Arnel Pineda. He released his uh, debut album, Grande e o Senhor, in 2017. I know I'm butchering the Spanish language, and I apologize. Um, but there you have it. Um, so Pedro Enrique, dead at 30 years old. 30. Yeah, just an unfortunate thing. And if you notice, the article says, hey, some things just happen. There's there's nothing to get to the bottom of, and that is bizarre. Why isn't there something to get to the bottom of? Are we just going to allow humanity to just live a few years, and if something happens, we're not going to try to fix that problem so it doesn't happen again? This is the new normal, and I hate the new normal. That's my video. I'll see you soon.